Hello everyone! Welcome back to my channel where I like to make, create, and inspire fun art things with you. So today I have three DIY projects that are so amazing, I just had to share them with you. I am personally getting ready to redo my patio for spring, and I really wanted to give it a total makeover. So these DIYs are some of the decor pieces that I'm adding to my patio, but they are also perfect for your indoor home decor. So, without further ado, let's get into it and let's art today. So jumping into DIY number one, I have this leftover home sign that I purchased from Dollar Tree. And I'm just showing you that I used the back of the sign for, I believe, a Nutcracker video. If you are interested, I make sure to leave it in the cards and down in the description box below. So the home part of the sign is in the front. And I want to remove that sign because I want to put it on the back like a shadow box so that's what I'm trying to do I'm gently pulling the edges and then I go in with a spatula so that I can push the remaining home sign off they do come off fairly easy I was just in a rush and I cracked my home sign but it's okay I hot glued it and you can't even tell afterwards next I'm just taking some more hot glue and I'm hot gluing the rectangle back on top of the home sign because before it was behind it so that it can act as a shadow box type sign next it's time to paint this piece i give it two coats of my favorite chalk paint color for this year so far which is in the color sheepskin and it's like this creamy white color that i just absolutely love Here is the sign totally painted. Like I said before, I gave it two coats of paint. I also painted the back. Now I did leave the home part unpainted because we are going to be covering that next. So to decorate the home part of the sign, I'm using a combination of hot glue gun and green floral moss. Now I fell in love with this technique when doing my St. Patrick's Day decor DIYs and I really felt like this really felt like spring to me and I wanted to incorporate it into my spring decor. So uh, as you see here, I'm adding hot glues to different sections of the word. I'm adding the floral moss on top, giving it time to dry so that I can go in with a pair of scissors and cut it down so that it can be close to the letter as possible. So while doing this method, I realized that I should have waited to glue on that rectangle piece on top of the home sign because cutting down the floral moss with larger pair of scissors was really hard to do. So I had to go down and use my children's scissors to cut the remaining moss off of the home sign, but it still worked and it came out so awesome. I continue this process until the whole word home is covered in green floral moss. And here's how the sign turned out. I absolutely love this. Now me and my family are not big floral people, but we love greenery and everything woodsy and that is the type of decor I am going for for my patio this year for spring and I just think this home sign is a great addition to it and I can't wait to put it out when my patio is completely made over. Moving on to DIY number two, which is one of my favorites by far that I have ever created. I have one of these wooden boxes. Now this wooden box came from a puzzle set that I bought my children years ago. It came with four different puzzles in this one box. I believe they still make them. Now a different hack that you can use is Dollar Tree wooden crates. This would work perfectly for that project as well. I'm just covering it with one coat of that sheep skin chalk paint and 
Now that my box is completely dried, I am going to dry brush on some brown paint and it is called Java and it's also chalk paint. I go only on the outside of the box, so on the edges and on the back side as well. Then I go in later and add some Irish green chalk paint, but very lightly to the outer edges now it's time for my favorite part, which is decorating the box. I have found the succulents at Michael's. They were in the clearance section, so they originally were $1.99, but I got them for $1.19, and I just love them. Also, these ones in the terracotta pot, they were also $1.99, but once again, they were $1.19. I also picked up some green leaves and a whole bunch of different types of greenery. Now, I did have some from Dollar Tree as well that I put off to the side. I'm first taking some one again those green moss and I'm hot gluing it to the inner edge of the shelf. This will act as my base so that I can continue decorating the inside of that tray. Now I'm just showing you here that these succulents in the terracotta pots come off pretty easily. You just have to twist them and pull them up. Next I took some wire cutters and I cut off the wire piece from the bottom and I'm just hot gluing them down. I also have some of some of these eggs left over from a previous project. If you want to see how I made them, I will link it here in the upper right hand corner for you. So I will continue adding some greenery to the box until the section is completely full. Now, just a reminder, Dollar Tree does carry succulents. You get uh, I believe the holder and the succulent and then they have succulent pieces and clips if you want to find those succulents there They are a dollar twenty five and like I said the succulents that I bought from Michaels were a dollar nineteen So I did save a little bit of money So here is the first section completed and like I said, I absolutely love this look. Now I did get inspired by one of those succulent um, art pieces that I've seen around Pinterest that people use in their home decor and that's how I came up with this piece. I had this leftover wooden box that was just lying around my house that I knew that I wanted to create something with, but once I saw those succulents in Pinterest and online that I just needed to make one for myself, and I absolutely love it. Here, I'm just skipping a shelf and I will continue filling up this section. And here's how it turned out. I absolutely love this thing. I think it's so cute, so adorable, so earthy, and just, it looks amazing. <laughs> I really love it, as you can tell. I did add my little gnomes to it just because I thought it was super cute. Like I said before, you can make this using only Dollar Tree items if you prefer. You just have to use the wooden crates or the wooden boxes that they have on hand. And then they also have succulents there as well like I said I absolutely love this let me know down in the comment section if you love it as much as I do and if you would have filled the whole thing up with succulents or would you leave it open shelved like I did here All right, jumping into DIY number three and our final DIY of the day. I have this candle holder that I've had for quite some time. I have a couple of these and I'm using this one as a sacrifice for this DIY. Now, it does say, say candle holder, but I use mine for wax melts. Anyways, I'm adding some hot glue to the top of this candle holder because I'm adding some more floral moss to the top of it. Like I was doing before, I'm adding the hot glue, adding a lot of floral moss on top of it so that it can adhere to the hot glue, and then I am trimming the excess using a pair of scissors. I am also adding some of that floral moss to the sides of the candle 
holder because I wanted the candle holder to look like it was covered in that moss, like it's been sitting out in the woods for a long time. <laughs> Now I'm taking more greenery and adding it on top of the candle holder. I add a couple of succulents, also a fake pine cone on top of there as well. You can decorate these however you like. Once again, I'm using this for my patio decor and I'm going for earthy, woodsy type of decorations for my spring decor. And if you would like to see my patio makeover, let me know in the comments section down below if that is something you're interested in. For the inside of my candle holder, I'm adding a lot of hot glue because the first thing that I'm going to put inside of it is those moss covered eggs that I made earlier. And lastly, I'm adding one of those large green succulents on the inside and a small lighter succulent on the other side using hot glue to attach everything down and here's how the candle holder turned out i absolutely love it i love that the creaminess of the candle holder is like a pop of color for the greenery inside i don't know if i'm saying that right but i hope you understand what i'm saying it matches my other decor just as well and it really screen spring to me that's really hard to say really fast anyways i just loved how this turned out if you love it as much as i do leave me a comment below saying this one is your favorite diy here is everything that I have created today. Like I was saying throughout this whole video, I absolutely love everything that I made today. Everything that I made really screams spring for me. It makes me overjoyed and excited to decorate my patio for the spring season. Now, leave me a comment below as to which one was your favorite of the day. Also down there, leave a comment saying if you would like to see my patio makeover, I would love to know and I would love to create that for you. If you are new here, hi, I would love for you to say by you hitting that subscribe button and also clicking the bell so that you will always be notified when I upload new content. I had such a blast blast of making this and I can't wait for the remainder spring DIYs to come out. And thank you so much. I will see you in the next one.